creating a polar array is going to bring together a lot of the disparate pieces of knowledge that you've been learning in the previous videos. Let's say that we want to array this lounge chair around the table and we'll make eight instances. I'll select the lounge chair. The first thing to realize is that you need to get the transform gizmo of the lounge chair into the center of the table. Notice that the table is centered on the origin point of the home grid. That's going to make this easy. All we need to do is go up here and choose Use Transform Coordinate Center and that will move the transform gizmo to the origin point of the home grid. And it does that because we're using the View Reference Coordinate System in a perspective viewport. If we were in an orthogonal viewport we would have to use the world system in those cases. Now perhaps a more difficult situation and more common situation would be if these two objects were not centered on the origin and the table was just at some arbitrary location like this. Now what are we going to do? Let's try that again. Notice that the uh, transform gizmo is here at the origin point still. We need to get that in the middle of the table. The way to do that would be to pick a coordinate system off the table and use the transform coordinate center. Now the gizmo is in the right place. So this is a more robust solution that works anywhere. Now we're primed for the array. I'll go to the tools menu and open the array dialog. Observe that the numbers that we used in the previous video are still in here. I'll reset all the parameters. Now I have to remember that I want to make a, um, a total of eight instances. So instances selected. I'm going to be dealing with a total and we are rotating the chair. So I'll click this arrow button to activate these three spinners. And we are talking about rotating the lounge chair around the z-axis and we're going a whole circle so I will type in 360 degrees. Down here we have to change the count to 8. Again this will be a one-dimensional array and because we are rotating the objects they will not form a line but rather they will form a ring. Let's preview before we commit just to make sure that we're thinking this through correctly. It looks good. I'll click OK and we're done. 